Hello darlings, welcome to the second video of this channel. In wake of current events, I decided to use this social media platform to talk about it. I do have my fears of saying the wrong thing, but not saying anything at all is far worse because it signs with oppression. As you've heard multiple times this week, silence is violence. And believe me, I've heard every excuse to why people may not be speaking up about it. Such as, oh, I only have 10 followers. It's not going to make that much of an impact. Well, we all got to start somewhere. So even if you have like 10, 100, 1,000, 100,000 followers, this is the time to educate as many people as you can. So here I am in my second YouTube video with less than 20 subscribers, and I'm hoping this could be a way to educate them or anybody else who may be checking out this channel but hasn't yet subscribed. So with that being said, let's talk about how systemic racism still exists today. So in K-12, every January, we learn about Martin Luther King Jr. and why we have that Monday in January off. And I believe that we were cut short in what was going on. It just basically ends with, Oh, segregation's over, but Martin Luther King Jr. was killed, but everyone lives peacefully in harmony and everyone's equal. Yeah, that is sadly not the case whatsoever. And I received that wake up call in college of all times. In high school, when we did go a little deeper into that part of US history, it was the civil rights movement and then Vietnam War. <laughs> like. Yeah, we were really missing out. It's racism and oppression. Oppression still exists in many forms today, such as education, healthcare, entertainment, real estate, banking, and many more. There is not enough representation. There are people who are not being heard just because of the color of the skin. There are people telling them and gaslighting their struggle, even undermining it. Now is the time to pop that privilege bubble and open your eyes to what's going on. Police brutality is real, it's an abuse of power, and it does not protect all citizens. Like what disgusts me most is how people that are African American who had a very minor crime they're accused of or even did such as counterfeit stop not stopping by a stop line selling loose cigarettes or were even just accused whatever happened to the sixth amendment which was the right to a fair and speedy trial no it doesn't happen it's like they're killed on the spot and it is disgusting it's horrifying it's it's upsetting and yes that's why we have to protest. And I get it, riots are scary. Businesses that are getting looted, they're trying to recover. But guess what? Property can be replaced. Businesses can rebuild. But the police brutality and the killing of innocent black people needs to stop. And I know this is overwhelming for a lot of us. There are so many names, so many people that were killed in just this year alone and a lot of us are processing it still just continue educating yourself don't shut it out learn in any way that is most comfortable for you and fight in a way that has a huge impact but also just lightly takes you out of your comfort zone with that being said you could still help the fight their fight against racism there are many different angles to help and we need everyone to help in whatever way they can to make racism fully, fully history. Not just something we, ex we have to see and hear about. And if you are experiencing it, hopefully this is something that you could be able to not have to deal with in your lifetime. With that being said, there are many different ways you could help. You could post your own thoughts and put them out there on whatever social media channels you like to use. You can share posts by others if it's something that speaks to you, but you just 
are lost for words. It's another great way to get the discussion going. You could write editorials for papers. And even if you don't want to have your thoughts out there, you could even do it silently, but still make the impact. You could have the uncomfortable discussions with people that don't understand, whether it be electronically or face-to-face. -face. Learning is learning. There's going to be resistance. They're going to accuse you of shoving it down their throats. But you got to keep pushing it. Got to keep learning. Make the information available and easy to obtain. It also helps to educate yourself. Like, what are some gaps you have noticed whenever you talk about it? Like, what's an area you're not addressing? What's an area you should learn more about? Go for it. There's plenty of resources. There's books, videos, YouTube videos. And I've even included some of those sources in the description. You can go out there and protest if that's your thing. And of course, I just don't want to be protesting because I have crippling anxiety and severe claustrophobia, but doesn't mean I do not care about the cause. I support my friends who are doing this. I just hope they are staying safe while continuing the fight. You, and if you want to be a part of protest but don't want to be there physically, whether it's because you're immunocompromised, you know somebody is immunocompromised, you can make signs. You could give baking soda, milk, and water to people who need it for the tear gas. Anything helps. And of course, the other way to be a silent giver is to sign petitions. Donate. And I've done a lot of that in the past week, more than I've ever done in my life. And to continue with the donations for every negative comment, and by negative, I mean something that is either unhelpful or flat out derogatory, I will donate $1 to Black Lives Matter. And these comments aren't just to trash me or what we're fighting for. The comments is also a time for all of us to learn, like give your input. How can we continue the fight against racism? Give me help for suggestions. Call me out if I did something wrong. I'm here to listen. I'm here to learn. And that's why I made this video. So feel free to read the description. I know it's very long. It's a lot of links, but feel free to check it out. Read, learn, and give. Thank you.